He's dead. I killed him. Sublime bone dust. Anyhow, hello and welcome. I'm Zinder, and this is Dark Souls 2. Now, what is that? Now, I also picked up a cracked blue-eyed orb, which is invade the world of the guilty, which is interesting. Uh, burn in a bonfire to upgrade Estus Flask. I see. I don't have the Estus Flask yet, as far as I can tell. So I'll have a name of soldier and human effigy, so that it could be the effigies for if I want to become human again. <sighs> you know what? I'm going to burn a life gem, just because I want to be sure in case I make any mistakes. Hey. Hey. I'm now deeply confused. It, oh. Gotta get away from that edge. It's making me uncomfortable. Oh! Ah! Uh. See, I knew I should have lured him back, but he just kind of stood there at the start. But, uh... Yeah, the mace guy... It, he was literally just a case of stop... There's reacting too quickly, and there's reacting too slowly. The sword guys, it's normally reacting too slowly. The mace guy, it was, I was reacting too quickly. His swings are so long that I would be rolling, and then he would hit me. So, that was a major mistake on my part. And uh, this run is obnoxious. Not gonna lie. Like, considering what they tell you to deal with, this run is really annoying really early in the game. But, uh, I don't have an Estus Flask, do I? I don't recall having an Estus Flask. I see no Estus Flask. So I'm assuming it's kind of like the, uh, the first one, and I don't have it yet. But, uh, yeah. The sword guy, he's not terribly difficult. Partly because of that. Oh. I hate corners. Instructions. Going for a double hit. Bam. You gonna drop me anything? No? Okay. So, let's see if I can not... Oh, he's not here this time. Apparently the mace guy is considered too difficult to respawn. Go figure. If you don't mind, I'm gonna take my souls. Thanks. Get close. Get close. Back away. Can you come down here, or are you gonna, like, say no to that? You're gonna say no to that. Okay. I wonder what he would do if I just 
walked away from him. But I hate fighting in such close quarters whenever I can't even see what's behind my feet. Like right now, if I was getting close to an edge, I'd be able to see it. But unfortunately, the camera doesn't always allow for that. So for example, when the camera gets like this, I can barely see under my feet. And when it gets like this, I can't see jack. So, yeah. I didn't pay attention to when I started recording this time, so this might end up being longer. I'm just going to assume I've been going for 10 minutes. And we're going to try something different. We're going to try walking away from that guy as he just stands there and stares at me. Although, not killing something kind of makes me feel like I've failed. Because it's basically the equivalent of saying, I admit defeat against said mob. And it, yeah, it's kind of disappointing. Okay, sword guy. I got your number. Whoa, 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 whoa. No four combo, dude. Oh. I overstayed my welcome. Oh. Now I really overstayed my welcome. Ow. Not my smartest idea. Yes, I went for a third hit there. Was it stupid? Yes. Did I do it anyhow? Yes. Why did I do it? I have no idea. That was incredibly stupid. So if I just, say, take a stroll... Okay, bye. 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 Oh god, don't tell me I have to fight all three of them at once. Okay, those two are gonna back up. Oh! I don't like this place. This feels like they're starting me off in what one call one could call the equivalent of hmm what is what is the best way I, I can't even say Anne Orlando because to be honest and Orlando seemed far simpler than these guys. So... This raises the question of... Where? Because it's just kind of... Let's be honest, it's fucking brutal. But... I've noticed that it seems like the enemies have been getting progressively slower attack speeds just to screw with you. Because his attack was even slower than the, uh, the mace guy. At least it felt like it. So... Do I want to bother killing the sword guy again? The question is, can I just run past him? If I run past him, what'll happen? I'm sick of killing him. Are you going to leave me alone, or am I going to have to deal with you? Is he coming up here, or what's he doing? Are you gonna, you know, 
stop following me at some point, or am I gonna have to run back through that door so I can fight you down below? Okay, so you're gonna make me deal with you. Not by the stairs, thank you very much. I could get a third hit in. Uh. <sighs> I feel like I am failing very, 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 very badly. I'm sure there's people that came in here and basically just, you know, did this first try. And they're probably the kind of people that have played Dark Souls repeatedly over the past, you know, however many years it's been since Dark Souls was released. But... I'm not one of those people. I I actually spent the last th three years mostly playing APB, which is a third-person shooter. It doesn't have any advanced mechanics of blocking and whatnot. Its mechanics are shoot or hide behind wall. Th that's it. But that's all APB has for me mechanics, basically. Although lately they've added other things that I disagree with, and as such I haven't had it on my computer in... I don't know, probably about a month and a half. But, uh... Yeah. So... I need to deal with these... And I hate to say it, but I feel like this is too slow-paced. I don't like it when things are slow-paced, because I'm always going in a hurry. I'm always in a hurry to do everything, and this is just... Rude. Did I just try to parry him? That roll was unnecessary. Oh. Why'd you drop another one? You know what? I, I don't even know. I don't even know. Blah, blah, blah. You're gonna stand there and stare at me. I don't care about you. So the two shield guys are gonna back up. And they're gonna block the doorways. And then I'm gonna have to deal with this fat ass who one-shots me. Okay, I understand. I understand. Okay, I don't understand. He changes his attack patterns. Although, to be honest, when I start, saw him pull his sword to the side, I should have realized that was going to happen. But... I don't think I can get away with trying to block him. You know what? Let's 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 try something different. How about see what happens if we try and deal with these things here in the corner? would fall down the massive hole. You can't see it right now, but I'm face palming. I I really feel like I'm doing something very, very, very wrong. 
as if I've gone a wrong way. Ugh, they're so grotesquely, annoyingly hard to attack. Half of my abilities or attacks won't hit them because of how they function. Stop. 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 Whatever it is you're doing, stop. Really? 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 See, now I don't even care about the big guys. I'm determined to kill at least one of these pigs. I'm assuming they're pigs. They sound like pigs. And, no, to be honest, they take a lot, a lot less distance to run to fight. I don't even care if there's three of them. That's just good practice. Pick up my pointless soul. You know, I'm sitting here, and I'm constantly running back, and running back, and running back, and running back running back. What happens if I just sit down at the bonfire? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Well, now I know. Oh. Apparently I can break the statues. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, come on. Ooh, hello. Almost jumped down the hole. But, but where are you going? Oh, come on. Ugh. So many pigs. See, they're constantly charging, and they seemingly get a free hit right after every single thing. Plus the fact that I only have one attack that can even strike them. The moral of the story is, I hate short enemies. Maybe I should have picked the archer, but then I'd have no arrows. Oh, hello again. What do you have again? Uh, Whoops. Oh, hello again. Uh, I hope you find something of use. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't mean to slap you, but we're just going to pretend that never happened. So he has nothing else. He has... A 95% block great shield requires 20 strength. 
and a kite shield for 1500 that blocks 90%. Well, I, I, well, I do hope I see you again. Shut up. Who? Wh what the? I didn't do it. You saw nothing. And that blocks 50%. Okay, we're gonna go get destroyed by the two-handed guy again with his completely unpredictable fucking attack pattern. That is if we don't get killed by the guy with the one hand again and the shield simply by being an idiot. I really should just cut this, but as I said before, doing cuts just makes things all so more painful. If I could just take the pieces and throw them in there, you know, I'd be fine. But unfortunately, I have to extract the audio, merge it into a single channel, and then run it back through in order for Virtual Dub to actually be able to handle it, because it doesn't handle multiple audio streams in one video. Like, you could sort of say that it does, because uh, it allows you to select from them. But it doesn't handle multiple at once, which is, I consider to be a major drawback, but it's free. And it also supports uh, Windows for AVI codecs. Now, if I could use, say, Windows Movie Maker, which supports, uh, you know, multiple audio channels, I'm pretty sure. You know, I'd use that, but unfortunately, it doesn't support the codec I use, and the Windows Movie format, or WMV, is frankly terrible in my opinion. It has terrible quality, terrible file sizes, terrible compression. Ow. Ow. Such a pain in the ass. You know what? You know what? Before we end this, I've decided I'm sick of them. And I'm going to make an attempt to get past them. Simply because I'm sick of fighting them. I'm sick of these green armor giant douchebags. I'm absolutely tired of them. Also, I've decided that I don't want my shield there anymore. Why? Because I don't. I want to see my awesome cloak. This is how I roll. It's how I do things. So. Pull. Are you as sick of seeing this as I am? I bet you aren't. And I don't really have anything... I I'm trying to maintain talking. Although, I suppose filler talking is probably worse than actual talking. In reality, if I wasn't lazy, I would just cut the parts where I don't have any talking involved. Ow! Rude! Episode done. Death by stupid. Episode done. Episode done. Three ten in the morning. Done. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna call this fail, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.